Hello everyone. Welcome back to class. So we are doing with the chapter that the right clothes to wear. The right clothes to wear. In this chapter, you have learned that why we wear clothes. Why clothes are important for us. So it is clear you have know that one why it is important. Why we need cloth. We need cloth to cover our body. One point you have learned. And it protect cloth protect us from heat and cold. It also protect us from insect bite. It protect us from what? Dust and dirt. Yes, and one more thing that is very important that cloth looks you smart. Cloth looks you smart. Okay, now you will know about the types of fiber. Today you will know about the types of fiber. Okay. So, here I will show you some example. So you will know about the types of fiber. So cloths you are wearing. It is made up of different fiber. Yes cloths that we are wearing. It is made up of different fiber. You have seen that sometime you are going. You are buying that cotton frog. Or sometime synthetic frog. Or sometimes silk one you are seeing. And you are seeing that your mother is also wearing sometimes cotton sari, sometimes silk sari, sometimes they are wearing synthetic sari. Yes, different types of, you have seen the different types of sari they are wearing and they are made up of different materials. Some are made up of cotton, you are seeing that. Some are made up of silk and some are made up of synthetic. In the same way, when you also wear and you go to market sometime you buy the top it is nice it is made up of cotton i will buy this frog or i will buy this top sometime you see that it is a silk one it will look so pretty so i will buy that one and sometime you go and buy the synthetic one so what is this different types of clothes you are wearing so it is made up of some cotton you have seen some Silk and some synthetic. So these are, these cloths are made up of what? Fiber. These all are the known as fiber. Different types of fibers are there. So cloths are made up of what? Fiber. Okay, these fibers are two types. Fibers are two types. One is natural fiber and one is synthetic fiber. Natural. What is natural? That from nature we are getting. Yes. Natural means from nature we are getting. So natural fiber. You can say that plant is in nature. So fiber that we get from the nature. That is known as natural fiber. And synthetic fiber means we have to. That is the man made fiber. This fiber we have to make it. It is not in the nature. This fiber we have to make it. Okay. So fibers are two types. One is natural fiber. Another one is what? Synthetic fiber. Natural fiber is a. It is in nature we are getting. It is a natural thing we are getting. From plant or anything we are getting. 
and this is synthetic fiber it is a man made fiber clear it is about the fiber now you will see that in natural fiber are the two types we can obtain natural fiber from plant and also from animal so we can say it is plant fiber fiber or animal fiber so natural fiber we can obtain from we can get from from where you will get this natural fiber this natural fiber you will get from plant or from animal understood it is clear to you all so from natural fiber we can get from the plant or from animal so from plant you have seen that this is the cotton yes what is this this is the cotton so cotton you will get from where from cotton plant cotton you will get from cotton plant yes cotton you will get from cotton plant and you can wear the cotton dress this is this is cotton cloth yes this cloth is also cotton and this cotton you get from the what cotton plant and with this you can make a this cotton dress okay and next one is jute you have seen jute you can get from the jute plant jute you can get from the jute plant and that jute bora you have seen so that is the jute sack we are saying we are making that jute sack with that jute understood so plant fiber are we can get from cotton plant or we can get from the jute plant this we can get from cotton plant and another one we can get from jute plant understood so plant fiber we can get it from where this plant fiber from cotton plant or from jute Plant. and this cotton plant are cotton dress we are wearing that we can get and this jute plant we can get what jute sack bora you are knowing that we can get from jute plant now next one is animal fiber the fiber that we gets from the animal that is known as animal fiber that means you are seeing that animal silk sari you are getting wearing silk sari or silk dress silk top anything that one you are getting from the silk worm silk plant silk from where you are getting silk worm Obtaining from silk worm. From where you are getting silk worm? From silk we are getting from the silk worm, and that is that is the what in silk there is a in silk worm there is a cocoon. In silk worm there is what cocoon, and this cocoon is changed into what silk? Yes. This cocoon change into silk. So we are next one is silk worm, and in silk worm inside there is a cocoon, and this cocoon change into a what silk. Understood? And next one you can see that. Next one, what you can see that next one is the ship. Ship you have seen ship. What does ship give you? from ship you can obtain what ship can give you wool yes you can obtain wool from the ship and this wool what you can make wool and dress so from 
shift you can get a wool and this wool you can wear a woolen dress understood woolen dress now it is clear to you all that fiber is our what you have learned here that fiber are two types fiber they are having two types one is natural fiber another one is synthetic fiber and what is the natural fiber the fiber that we are getting from the nature that is known as natural fiber and synthetic fiber it is a man made fiber synthetic fiber is the man made fiber now this natural fiber are plant fiber and animal fiber yes from nature that means we can get from the plant or we can get from the animal so it is two type plant fiber and animal fiber in plant fiber cotton plant is there from cotton plant we are getting a cotton fiber cotton dress we are making and plant fiber jute plant is there with jute plant we are obtaining jute with that jute we can use to make a sack bora that we say that we are using to make with jute fiber jute plant okay next thing that the animal fiber in animal fiber what you have seen that silk sari what you are wearing from where you are getting the silk you are getting from the silk worm in silk worm there is a cocoon and with that cocoon we can use to make a it is used to make a silk sari or silk dress anything we are obtaining silk from the cocoon and next one is you have seen the woolen dress you are wearing from where you are getting the wool sheep is there from sheep we are obtaining wool and with that we are making woolen dress so this all are the natural thing natural fiber what cotton silk and wool cotton silk and wool these three are the natural fiber now it is clear to you all about the natural fiber so if it can say that fiber is how many kinds so you can say fiber are two types what are that natural fiber and synthetic fiber okay what is natural fiber the fiber that we obtaining from the nature that is known as natural fiber what is synthetic fiber man made fiber is known as synthetic fiber it is so easy now this natural fiber from nature where from we obtain nature we are obtaining from where so we can obtain from plant and from animal fiber from plant fiber or from animal fiber okay now here you see from plant fiber what you get plant fiber so cotton i have shown you this is the cotton from this cotton what you get cotton we are obtaining from cotton plant this cotton we are obtaining from what cotton plant and this cotton is used for making a cotton dress next one is from jute plant what we are obtaining jute yes and this jute is used for making a jute sack bora which you are saying okay or anything material jute bag you have seen jute wall hanging you have seen so with that jute we are using different types of things we are making with the jute next you have learned about the that animal fiber the fiber that we obtain from the animal so silk from where you will obtain the silk silk worm is there in silk worm cocoon is there and with cocoon from that cocoon we are obtaining silk and with this silk you are getting so many silk material in the market yes next one is the woolen dress you are wearing so what is the natural thing from where we are getting sheep you have seen sheep is having where upper of the body wools are there that wools are cut and it is used for making a wool and that wools we use for making a woolen dress okay 
so it is clear you have learned about natural fiber today next day i will explain you about the synthetic fiber today this much okay student bye bye everyone